okay you know <laughs> it's only in nigeria where you have repented terrorists so um last week 160,000 terrorists repented okay 160 repented so <laughs> <laughs> so the government <laughs> try oh my goodness they repented one and sister <laughs> try gosh <laughs> so the government <laughs> Please, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. So, one hundred sixty thousand terrorists repented. Bukhara members repented. One hundred sixty thousand. So, the, the the government knows that they can never return to killings because they, they swore with the Quran. So, the question is: All the politicians who used to swear with holy books, they swear with. Don't they embezzle public funds? If politicians swear with holy, holy books and still go ahead and embezzle public funds. How come do you think that a so-called repented terrorist? <laughs> Kai, see, this country, eh? Very unserious kind of people. Very unserious kind of people. Very unserious kind of people. Where you have repented terrorists, you tell me the country can move forward with this kind of this kind of reform system. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is laughable, but at the same time it is pathetic and outlandish. I can't help but but to, to, to laugh over this kind of disdain. God help us. Help us. The people who have committed so many atrocities, perpetrated so many orchestrated evil. At the end of the day, you give them safe haven and say they are repented. Repented what? And you are telling us that they cannot go back to their evil ways because they have sworn to your holy book, to the Quran. Whereas we have politicians who swear with the holy books and they still embezzle public funds. Listen. Before you comment, this is not a matter of religion. This is a matter of self-consciousness. This is a matter of reasoning. Every right-thinking mem right member of society is supposed to frown at this thing. What do you even think religion is? It's a system of belief that shapes man's perception about the universe. Religion is the opium of the masses. It's the opium of the masses. You cannot use such a thing to attribute to a man who have carved this pact to, 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 to cause self-destructive event to men in the society. After all they have done, he said they are repented. We are not ready as a country. When we are ready, when we are ready, we will stop grabbing the bull by the horn because there's no more space in the horn of the bull to grab. You will grab it by the balls. In the time of emergency, wise men, Construct bridges, foolish men build dams. Keep building dams. You will see how it will turn out. Wisdom Africa. Wisdom is the principal thing.